If you want to get really flexible, then this is for you. I'm going to teach you the fundamental principles about flexibility training that very few people know, and I'm going to reveal the biggest mistake that beginners are making when trying to get flexible. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image. So if you want to get really flexible, then it's very important that you avoid the big mistake that most beginners are making. And that is that they think static stretching is going to be enough to get them there. So static stretching is definitely one of our more favorite methods for developing flexibility, but it has a much smaller place in your training than what you may think. And what I'm going to teach you in this video is not only how to use static stretching, but also how to use loaded uh, stretching, how to use eccentric stretching, and how to use end range strength. So if we look at some static stretches for the hip flexors, so really, so the hip flexors, the muscles down here, if we, uh, like a really common static stretch is this deep lunge stretch. And this is a nice stretch. It's something that I do a little bit myself, but I'll do it really just at, maybe at the end of my workout or maybe in the morning when I just get up just to help me sort of, uh, you know, get the day started. And what I'm basically doing is taking my uh, hip joint to its full range of motion with uh, extension so that I feel a stretch through the hip flexors and then holding it there. And we've been taught for a long time that this is all you need to do to get flexible. Do this for three sets of 60 seconds a day and you too will get flexible. And unfortunately, it just doesn't work like that for most people. What we really need to do is teach the body how to develop strength through range. And by doing things like eccentric loaded stretching and also end range strength, that's far more effective at developing flexibility. So if we stick with this, uh, with these hip flexor stretches, I'll show you a couple of loaded eccentrics, or I'll show you a loaded eccentric, and then I'll show you some end range strength. So for a loaded eccentric, what I can do is, I can do a split squat, but really focus on the eccentric phase. So I'm just gonna you know, grab some dumbbells, load myself up, and I'm gonna focus on a really nice controlled eccentric contraction here in my body okay and I can come back up and again so we're not doing this like a regular split squat whoops to try to develop as much strength as possible what I'm doing here is focusing on driving this heel back so that my knee goes as straight as possible keeping myself nice and upright so that I'm really stretching out these hip flexors and creating an eccentric contraction as I come down, okay? Hey, in case we haven't met, my name's Rad Burmeister. I'm one of the co-founders of Unity Gym and co-creators of the Unify Movement System, where we make driven people strong, flexible, and fit. If you want to know how we do that, grab one of our free downloads. You can click the link in the description to download any of our free blueprints, or you can click the uh, collections tab to get any of our strength, flexibility, calisthenic skills, or injury rehab programs. And hey, if you want to perform at your peak and get stronger, more flexible, and fitter than you've been before, then jump in to my UMS online coaching program where you can get a 30-day free trial with the link in the description here and work with me personally and my team. Click the link now to get started. So by doing uh, eccentric contractions like that, what we do is we don't just teach the body to develop flexibility by um, delaying when the inhibitors uh, kick in, the, when the brain's inhibitors that prevent the muscles from being able to get to their full range of motion, which is really what a lack of flexibility uh, comes from. What we're also doing is we're building strength through the full range by doing an eccentric contraction. And by doing that, you're teaching the brain, teaching the nervous system that this range of motion is not only safe to go through, but it is a usable range of motion. It's something that we can actually express strength in. So the next uh, concept that we cover in our flexibility masterclass and what's um, been a, a breakthrough for, for us and for thousands of people around the world is something called end range strength. So if we look at if you want to develop flexibility in the hip flexors, okay, so if you want to be able to get closer to the front splits here by being able to bring this leg back and this leg forward, then 
The opposing muscle groups to the hip flexors are the hip extensors, okay? So glutes and hamstrings. And what we want to do is, we don't want to build, we don't want to just build flexibility in the hip flexors, we want to build strength in the glutes and hamstrings and the hip extensors at their end range. So what do I mean by that is, well, what I mean is it's like taking your leg to its full range of motion where these muscles are shortened and contracted and then developing strength there. So I'll show you two examples of how you can do that. So this is a, these extension lifts are one of my favorite. So from here, if I come down on my hands and knees and develop and get myself into a, um, uh, a posterior pelvic tilt and uh, spine flexion. So what that means is it just limits the range of motion here for hip extension. So it means that I really have to work uh, in my hip extensors. And then if I try to create a contraction and develop strength here in this end range of motion, that is going to help me build end range strength. And if I develop strength in the end range of my hip extensors, that also has an effect on the central nervous system that teaches your body that this is a usable range of motion. So another way that you can look at this uh, for the hip extensors is I could develop uh, end range strength by coming down into like a standing front split and trying to lift this leg up as high as I can. So as I get that leg up, I'm not just developing flexibility in the hamstrings, in the hip flexors, but I'm getting that end range strength through the hip extensors on this side. Another way to think of end range strength would be, I mean, for the shoulders, for example, if I'm keeping my rib cage down and bringing my arms up and trying to develop strength to be able to actively control how far back I can get into shoulder flexion, you know, the same can be done for shoulder extension, of course. And there's all different tools that you can do with this, but the, those concepts, if you understand the way to use static stretching and how really how small a part it has in the flexibility process. It does have its place, but it's much smaller than you think. And then using loaded eccentrics and end range strength, by using those three concepts throughout the joints in your body, you'll get a far greater result than if you just uh, do static stretching. Just static stretching is not enough to get you flexible, at least as an adult, in my experience. I don't know how it works for children because I didn't work, I didn't try to get flexible as a kid. I only started learning about flexibility in my late 30s. I'm 43 now. Uh, and I know that for adults, all the adults that I've worked with and for myself and my team here, that static stretching is just not enough. And when you employ these uh, concepts, that you'll make some serious leaps and bounds. Now make sure you tune into the next video in this series where I'm gonna to talk to you about the next big breakthrough concept that's gonna help you get really flexible as an adult. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you know when our weekly videos are uploaded. Now, the best thing for you to do if you wanna stay connected with us and get free online coaching is to join our private Facebook group. It's called the UMS Movement Mastermind and we go live daily where we answer our members' questions. It's very interactive because you can post questions while we're live and we interact with you on the show you can also upload videos or pictures of yourself with any movements, any stretches, strength training movements, calisthenics, weightlifting, anything that you're struggling with, and we'll critique you, give you feedback, let you know how you can get better. It's a really valuable resource. It allows a lot of communication with us and also our senior tribe members. You'll get answers very, very quickly, and it's absolutely free. So jump on Facebook, search for UMS Movement Mastermind, and join now. Until next time, have a great day.